In this video we'll be looking at the Baby SQL challenge on Hack the Box. It's a web challenge in the medium category and the description says I heard that real escape string functions protect you from malicious user input inside SQL statements. I hope you can't prove me wrong. So um, based on the description sounds like a, an SQL injection vulnerability. Let's take a look at the site. And if you go to the site it immediately shows us the code that's going to be running in the background. So we see here that we have the databases created, we have a query function. Uh, let's let's look at it from this way. We um, if the post parameter is set and we pass in a parameter called pass, it's going to call this function to add slashes, which is basically going to escape characters. So that if we try to put in a quote or something to escape an SQL query, um, it's going to it's going to escape that before it passes it to the to this query. And this query is is calling the query function here, and it's passing in select all from users where the password equals pass, and that's the pass that we that we've passed in, which has um, been escaped, and username is equal to admin, which so that's already preset. We can't change that. Um, and here we have a format uh, specifier to specify that this is a string, but we don't have that in the case of the pass. And you can see the query function here actually takes um, calls vs printf with um, our SQL statement and the arguments. So let's um, let's take a look at the vs printf. And if we take a look at the syntax of this, we can see that it takes a percentage, it takes a number of arguments, and then dollar sign, and then flags, uh, and then flags and a specifier. Um, does it give some examples down here? So it gives an example here. Let's try and work with a simpler example ourselves. Um, Let's go to our terminal, and if you do PHP A, you can get an interactive PHP shell. And let's um, take a copy of this whole string. This is a string that's going to be passed to VS Printf, and we'll do echo. And if we do VS Printf, just hit tab, it'll auto complete here, and paste in that whole string. And it's going to treat this as a variable, so just remove the dollar sign there. Just assume that we're just running this um, post query. We're sending this post query off, post request off, should I say, and we're, we're providing the pass as pass. Or let's um, just so it's a bit clearer. Um, I'll call this just test one two three, and that's all we're supplying at the moment. We're not actually trying to do any injection. So we send that. That's all fine. This is um, what VS Printf is doing at the moment. Now let's assume that we have um, add slashes is occurring first. In fact, let's see if we can do this as well. Uh, let's um, okay. I'll set a variable. Let's actually say pass is equal to set. Uh, sorry, add slashes add slashes and then let's put in our string let's say it would be pass and then let's just put in a, a quote let's echo pass oh I am not using semicolons it's not a good idea okay and you can see there that it's um added a slash before the quote. So now let's actually run our this query again and let's actually pass in that pass variable um, like that and pass. And you can see there, okay, so we've added the quote in, but this time it's it's um, it's added that slash. Now if we were to use a format string here which doesn't have a valid specifier. So the specifiers here 
um, are listed here but if we supply an invalid specifier it should remove the whole the whole format um, the whole format string specifier the, it should remove the whole thing I don't know um, I'll give an example here one second um, so let's uh, let's set pass to in fact let's um, go back to our string here let's assume that pass has been passed in as test one two three and that then a quote has been supplied but a backslash has been added before it so something like this let's assume that that's happened and now let's um, instead add a the format string specifier so if we put let's go back to the syntax so we have our percentage sign we have our argument number followed by a dollar sign so let's say one and then dollar sign and then we have our specifier we have our flags and stuff that we have our specifier so if we put in an invalid specifier in this case the invalid specifier is going to be this backslash which is supplied for us um, then because we've only set this argument to one it's only going to look at this at this specifier if we were to run that you see that it's actually removed the backslash because it's removed this whole format specifier string because this slash was determined to be invalid so if we go now and set our pass to equal let's um, set pass to equal pass and then percentage one dollar sign and let's echo pass and you can see there we have pass we have our format string specifier it's added the backslash we didn't put the backslash there this add slashes has added it before the quote and now if we try to run our this again with the pass variable we see that it's successfully inserted a quote whilst um, removing the backslash so we can now successfully do an SQL injection uh, let's see if we can clear this and let's try to test this out against the actual server so if we do curl dash x post oh, not z post and let's grab the address we need to send this post with a pass pass um, the post variable needs to be a pass um, the key should I say so dash d and then we'll do pass equals and then we want to put in our format specifier so percentage one dollar and then a quote and that is gonna let's try that out yep okay so the quote was would have been a would have had a slash put in front of it but because we've used a sport format specifier it's removed all that you can see that it has broken the um, the SQL statement you can see here we're using MariaDB so that we'll know what what um, syntax to use for our SQL injection here as well so the next thing we want to do is try to determine the number of columns here and we can do that by if we go to port swigger Portswigger SQL injection. So, um, Portswigger, who who make the Burt's Burt's Burt Suite tool that we use for a lot of these web challenges, um, have a Web Security Academy, which replaced their old Web Application Hackers Handbook, which used to be a kind of go-to resource for web-based pen testing. Um, and it has a t all these different topics. You can go and read through and watch videos on. Um, on the concepts and then you have different labs as well and on each vulnerability the reason I'm loading this a bit or oh, you also have um, some cheat sheets as well for like SQL injection and cross-site scripting and things like that well with well worth checking out and uh, maybe I'll I might do some videos at some point on some of these labs but um, the reason that I've come here is to have a look at the union attacks SQL injection union attacks and um, you can see here that we can determine the number of columns required in SQL injection union attack by using this order by value. So if we go back to our, let's minimize this, if we go back to our uh, SQL, if we go back to our terminal here, and let's paste this in. 
uh, you can see that they had the dash dash at the end of this um, okay the, we need a oh, um, I've missed a bracket you see that they use brackets here on the statement so make sure you close off the bracket and then if we order by one you see we get no error there let's try and order by two we get no error um, I'm using the quote here the um, hash here because this is the syntax for the Maria DB um, we get no error for two if we run three we get unknown column three four etc so there are two columns that we need to be concerned about there and what we're going to do now is um, there is another resource let me grab a link to it here I'll provide the links to all of these in the description below so you can check them out um, this is on XPath uh, error based injection to extract values so I'm not going to go through all of this essentially what it's telling us we can do is um, in, use this this uh, command extract value and then we put our query in here so whatever query we wanted to run be it like select all from users um, or something like that so I'm gonna copy this and let's um, in fact before before copying that let's see what the next this isn't actually this is just a sample query so what it's telling us to do here is to actually get the database so let's um, take a copy of that and let's we want to keep that quote there and we want to union did it have the union in there no okay we want to union select one and then we'll paste in that value um, take out their quote and use our, um, our comment here because we need to comment out the rest of the SQL query okay and you can see there that it's told it's given us the database there dm underscore m412 let's go back and see what else we can do here getting tables from the current database so let's take let's grab this extract value let's um, union select one extract value okay oh um, I was thinking that didn't work there it did work we have our table um, it's called totally not a flag so it's found our table successfully and so what we'll do now is uh, let me minimize this sorry um, so there's some more things here in terms of continuing to get columns I'll not go through this because we found our table so let's go ahead and change the query to say select all from totally not a flag and you can see there that we've got our flag okay and I um, hope you've enjoyed this challenge check out the resources in the description for more stuff on SQL injection um, and any questions or comments leave them down below thanks